Hey there, welcome to the video and in this video I'm gonna be doing a data analysis on emergency call 911 for PA. Uh, so let's get started. So I have this huge data set from which I've just downloaded it and you can find the data set on Kaggle, uh, sorry, on my GitHub account. So it's already there, the CSV file is there. So the first step would be, see how I've organized my uh, entire notebook so you can even read it uh, whenever you want at your own pace. So first of all, we need to import the library, right? So once uh, done with that, step two, get the knowledge about the data set. So what knowledge is basically, uh, first of all, uh, I do print OS, instead of seeing what is the name of my uh, CSV file, uh, you, what you do basically you open your folder and see the name right so i use os dos list there so this this tells me that i have a folder known as 911.csv so check the rows and columns so understand your data set so what i do basically is df dot uh, so first of all i'm just reading it and printing the head so here you can see check the list of columns so i do df dot columns so i get all the list of columns that are there then i do df dot info so it tells me it has 4 lakh 23909 uh, rows in that data set so it's a huge data set so then i do a df dot describe so it tells me the minimum the maximum of all the columns so latitude longitude zip code and e now here comes the question answers guys so what are the top five zip code for 911 calls so we want to do that so the way to do that is take the zip uh, zip column and uh, do n unique so this will tell you that there are total 170 uh, zip codes uh, in the data set and what I'm gonna do is gonna do a value count on all of that and do a head so it will give me the top five. So that's the answer. Question number two, what are the top five townships of 911? That means what are the top five towns from which the calls are being made? So uh, as I said, there is this uh, column, TWN, so it has uh, all the town name. So what you have to do for this, uh, for this problem is basically take that column do a value count and dot head so this will give you all the list of um, columns now we can also do this one one more line we can also add a nice visualization here so what i can do dot plot so here you can see we have a very nice plot uh, so for all the five um, first five uh, top five cities it is showing you basically the count so how many calls are being made from each uh, city similarly uh, we can also do it for the zip code so from each zip code how many calls are being made so i can just plot it up oops so that would be a little data visualization dot plot dot i can call the line uh, that did not turn out to be that good so we are gonna not do it with the, the zip code. So that's the question number two. Question number one, see how many unique types of call came from, uh, sorry, how many unique types of call came and what are the top, and uh, I should rephrase my question here. And what are the top five? So as I know that we have a title which has all the names of the call. So again, we want the unique, so we can say N unique. So there are 141 total unique calls, like the title. And the top five are like traffic, vehicle accident, disabled vehicles, fire alarms, fall victims. So here you can see fire alarms have a long, long number. So I can also go ahead and uh, visualize the data set. So for top five, so here you can see the highest is the accident, uh, vehicle accidents, which is pretty common here. So I derive a conclusion, nice conclusion, right? What are the most common reasons for calling 911? So how do you do that? So in this, uh, it's a little complicated. So, so what I do is t I take the reason column, right? And from that, I take the title column, I apply a, a custom Lambda function. So if you observe, every title has EMS, that is nothing but emergency. And if it is related to traffic, there is traffic and then colon. So I try to separate that. So here you can see if you, uh, if after uh, selecting the reason column so after i do that if i say unique there are four different uh, three different types of call eme fire and traffic so and if i do a count on that so these many calls are for the emergency these many calls for the traffic problems and i can also visualize that and i have a conclusion working with timestamp of course so i had a date timestamp i converted into timestamps like date day of week time month year so I did a little nice visualization 
so this shows uh, on which day of week uh, maximum uh, phone calls were uh, made to 911 so uh, the analysis says as uh, on fridays and on usually on i think on mondays are the maximum calls on what month the maximum calls were made so you can see month 10th and month 1 and month 3 then similarly based on year so maximum was in the year 2016 we'd write a nice conclusion and this code is there in the github account make sure to check that out and it's pretty interesting when you dig into data uh, i am not an expert here i'm i'm again i'm saying i'm not an expert but what i try to do or what i am i want to do is i want to share my knowledge with everyone whatever i know i want to share with you guys if i know something i'll try to teach you you might get something from it you know every time so that is what uh, i try to do on my youtube videos uh, if you have if you know me from a long time so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed it and um, this data science is pretty amazing uh, as i said i'm not an expert i'm still learning and exploring this field so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it and do give a like if you have uh, uh, any questions list them in the comment section and i shall try my best to get back to you as soon as possible thank you